this is a quick turnaround for you from your last bout. How are you feeling? I feel ready and thankful that they uh, give me a quick bounce back. This one's from Mirren Jamo. You had that tough loss against Hiroba Manoa late last year. It was a very close fight. What was the biggest lesson you learned in that fight? And how do you apply it to your career moving forward? My biggest lesson on that uh, loss was uh, not to be uh, overconfident and don't rush. So, yeah, I've learned uh, a lot of things from that. And, yeah, I plan to check on that and apply it moving forward. There was a lot of emotion going into that bout. Do you think that affected you in that fight? Yeah, uh, it was a tough uh, fight. I had a tough uh, fight camp and yeah, the preparation didn't go as planned. And then, yeah, so it's quite tough for me. That's why I think I, my focus is out that time. Well, now you have a quick opportunity against a up and comer. Namiki Kawahara, tell us your thoughts on this opponent. Uh, for me, uh, my thoughts on him is he's a good fighter. I respect him. Uh, he's a good striker, but that's my base. So let's see. Uh, I'm coming to give a good show again. This one is from Fight Game Asia. You were previously ranked number five at strawweight, but after that loss to Manoa, your spot was taken by Manoa. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, my thoughts on that is, uh, for me, it's not uh, big of a loss for me, uh, him taking my spot. Because for me, uh, top five or rank five is not good enough for me. Uh, my aim is to uh, be the top guy in my division. So it's okay that he took that spot because I'm... My plan is not to stay in, uh, in that uh, number five. My plan is to be the number one. So, yeah, for now, it's okay because, uh, yeah, it brings the fire in me to come back hungrier, hungrier and climb on top. This one is from Fight Game Asia. What do you think you need to do to get back into the rankings? Do you think a win over Namiki Kawahara will be enough? Uh, I think it counts because uh, Namiki is a champion also in his league. So, and... Yeah, if we can uh, give a good show here, I think uh, I deserve that uh, spot because uh, looking on our, on my previous uh, opponents, I think I've faced more worthier opponents than Manoa. So, yeah, I think I deserve that spot. Is a rematch with Manoa something that you're looking forward to? I'm looking forward for it. I'm really obsessed with it so yeah i'm hoping that uh everything will uh go as planned and uh one will give me a rematch with minoa tom taylor from bjpen.com with this next question is there anything about namiki that you're worried about and how did you specifically prepare for him specifically uh yeah just more on the uh game plan and checking his uh weaknesses in strength so we have checked some holes in his game yeah, we saw that he's a wild uh, brawler and he is unorthodox. Uh, he got an unorthodox style of fighting. So I just need to be focused in, uh, yeah, I need to uh, be sharp on facing him. Now over at Team Likai, you have a lot of lighter weight class guys, very talented, Kevin Bellingon, Danny Kingad, Joshua Pasho, all these guys, and how much has that helped you in camp? It helps me a lot because, yeah, uh, training with your uh, just uh, same weight class, uh, you can, it's just close in fighting, so you can train very well and prepare well. Is there any one specific person that helps you out the most? The champ, the champ Joshua. For this camp, we, I trained mostly with uh, the champ, so we, we did a lot of drills and uh, some technical training. Has the COVID situation affected your training at all? This time we did an uh, adjustment, so uh, it, we try to do our best so it won't affect our training. This one is from Tom Taylor of BJPen.com. Is there any... Oh, I'm sorry. We just asked you that question. I apologize. This one's from Jack101 of Knockdown News. How much were you able to prepare for your opponent considering that he stepped in on short notice? Uh, I think I'm... I've already prepared uh, in his style of fighting because... Yeah, my background is a striker and he's a striker. So ever since I'm doing striking already and if he decided to uh, come out and uh, uh, come out and fight 
uh, in the ground with me, then I'm also prepared in that area. So let's see. Fight Game Asia with this next question. A lot has happened in your life since your last fight. You lost your mother. The whole Philippines mourns with you. We know how much she meant to you. What has changed in your mindset since she has passed? Nothing changes. It's just we, I just added some uh, positive things. And yeah, with that pass, passing of my mother, I, that gives me the fire also and motivation to win this fight. How is your mindset heading into 2021? Do you feel more motivated than ever? And why is that? Yep. My mindset, uh, welcoming 2001 is very, I'm very motivated and hungry to improve and uh, chase my dream, especially uh, climbing on, uh, on top of the rankings. This one from Tom Taylor. You mentioned that both of you are strikers. What do you think you do better than Namiki? For me, I think I'm more uh, well-rounded than him. I, I can strike and I can go in the ground. I can grapple with him, so that's my edge. This is a follow-up question from Fight Game Asia. If your mother was here in front of you now, what would you tell her? I'll tell her how much I she means to me and how much I love her. And I'll just show uh, her how much it means to me. She means to me. What have you been working on since your last bout? With, um, since your last bout? Yeah, we're working on. Uh, we've been working on our uh, ground games. Uh, just trying to tighten it up and wrestling defense, and also sharpening our main weapon striking. So once we hit, we can just knock our opponent out. There was a little bit of controversy in your last bout. Some say that your opponent tapped out. Did you feel that? No, honestly, for me, when uh, I was in the cage. The first attempt of that Kimura was uh, very tight. And I know if uh, his arm is free because his arm that time was uh, stuck in my crouch. So uh, I was waiting for him to tap, but he cannot tap. So I tried to uh, loosen up so he can tap, but he take that advantage to roll over and escape. And I just saw in the replay the baby taps that he did. And yeah, for me, I think uh the only thing that can clear his name here if he thinks that he didn't tap is a rematch when the referee announced the decision did you think that it was the wrong one it's not yeah i'm hoping to that i might get it because i had a near uh finish and when we're in the ground he he didn't uh manage to overpower or outscore me because it's just Laying uh, on top of me, giving not not that hard punches. So I think, yeah, I get. I'm hoping that uh, they'll give me that uh, decision. But for me, it's okay because uh, yeah, it's uh, out by motivation and the fire to improve more. Besides this rematch, is there anything anyone else you would like to face? Yeah, uh, besides this very much, if Mino don't want to uh, dance again, then I think I have a lot of worthy opponent on this division. I want to challenge uh, the former champions. I think for me, that's a better uh, step up if I face them. So one is uh, the former champion, Naito, or Saruta is uh, the best uh, opponent for me, I think. So Ruta, Naito, Deja Mrong, all former champions, all could be incredible matchups for you. We have a question here from Singapore Strike Sports. Do you think you are the underdog for this match? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I have the confidence that, yeah, people still uh, believe in me and especially myself. I believe in myself that I'll be victorious this time because just the last time I, I had a bad night that, bad performance so yeah that one that one just decide my future here i'm still here and i'm still hungry your team team lakai had a rough year rough year last year how is the team morale right now now it's uh we're working on uh we're just pushing to bounce back this year the spirit we set our spirit high to come out and yeah bounce back this year and yeah eventually maybe uh, be back on top of the game and get some belt. What will 2021 be for the team and how do you all plan back to come back from that? So, yeah, 2021 is we target that oh, we, we must improve and check our mistakes from the, la from the past and, yeah, keep climbing on top and that's it. We, 
we hope that uh, we keep coming and winning the game so to get a title shot or just go up on the rankings. Without giving away your strategy for this fight, how do you think you're going to win it? A technical and thunderous win. One more before we let you go, Lito. What do you have to say to all your fans? To all our fans out there, uh, thank you very much for all your support. And yes, keep believing, keep the faith. I'll do my best to get the win. Thank you so much, Lito. Very nice to see you.